Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 763. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 761 to 770, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we have some data like this. And all we want to do is we want to simulate what would happen if we sorted this column from A to Z or in ascending order. Here's what the end result should be. I'm going to right click, sort, and A to Z. Notice I had one cell selected in the column I wanted to sort. That's the end result. Now, the, co the, the catch here, control Z to undo, is that we need to keep the original data set exactly as it is and sort it over here. All right, uh, this actually comes from Andrew Paulsom at the Mr. Cell message board. Totally cool trick. Now, let's first use count if and the less than symbol to compare these words. Now, usually we use less than, greater than, and we compare numbers, but no problem. You can compare letters and whole words if you want. So I'm going to say equals count to if. And I'm going to do the whole range right here and lock it with the F4 key. Comma, and the criteria is going to be less than. I'm going to ampersand the join symbol and join that to this. Now, what in the world is that going to do? Well, is, Be is Bellin less than any of these? No, that is the first word at the top of the column. So that'll return a 0. Let's enter this formula and copy it down. You can see we got a, a 0, a 3. OK, so this is the third item. Right? Because when you sort it, it would be this would be on top, this would be the second one, this would be the third one. Well, what good is that? Well, let's think about using count if a second time with an expandable range to count as we go down the column how many of you are. There's one, two, three. For Carlota, it would be one, two. All right? So I'm gonna for the range do an expandable range. I'm gonna click there, colon, and then comma and click there. Now the trick to expandable range is I'm going to lock the first one but not the second one. So I'm going to lock the row reference, F4. That 2 is locked on that 2 right there. This one is not. So when I copy this down, this range will expand. And what will the formula do? It'll give me a 1 here because the range it's counting from it has just one bell in, but when it extends down to here, there'll be 2, so it'll return a 2. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now, what in, what in the world good is that? By the way, let's check the expandable range. Sure enough, it did expand. Well, what happens if you add these two? Equals SUM. Whoops, let me just do it this way. You get a 1, a 4, a 2, a 5, a 3. A perfectly, uh, the actual sort order of how they would appear in the list just as we did, just as it would happen if we sort it. So I'm going to mash these all together. I'm just going to copy this and put it, add it to the end. Absolutely beautiful. Now, actually, I should have mentioned at the beginning, I have a video, uh, Magic Tricks 759, that did sorting a list, but it removed the duplicates. Here, we were trying to simulate sort. We don't want to remove anything. This video is a little bit more complicated than this one. All right, now it's a simple, it's just a simple lookup problem. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we can use index and match. Now, we can't use, well, we're going to use index and max because here's the lookup column, and then we're looking something up over here and here. So I'm going to equals index. And the array, that's the items I want to return, are there. And now, when I copy this formula over, I need the dancing ants to move to the number column. So I'm going to lock it uh, going down across rows, but not across the columns. That's the array, comma, the row number. Well, what do I want? Well, now I have to use match, because I actually have to look these up. So I'm going to use match. Look up value. Well, I really want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can build into the lookup value a little formula element that will increment numbers as we copy down. Whoops, that is rows with an S. Now I'm sitting in E2, so I'm going to type an E dollar sign 2 colon E2. Notice 
that's an expandable range just like we had over here, except for now it'll be counting rows. And this one will expand, so it'll give us one, two, three as it copies down. All right, that's our lookup value, comma, and then the lookup array. This one we created right there, F4, comma, and we have to do zero for exact match. That column is not sorted in ascending order. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and that's it. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Oops, not double click. There's nothing to the left or right. Drag it down and over. Wow, amazing. Much easier to just sort, but occasionally you get uh, requests like this. Can't sort it, but you want it to look just like you sorted this column. Boom. All right, see you next trick.